the agreement was for Sarah Smith um, to engage with Felicio and she would receive on video uh, that would be recorded by cell phone and she would um, receive $150 for uh, her services. Um, Mr. Muscat was arrested on that date and time. Um, he appeared in McDonald's parking lot for the agreement. Um, he was interviewed post Miranda and um, he denied meeting anyone else. Um, he did say that he had to try to solicit others, but and he engaged in conversations similar to he had that he had with him with Lachlan, but he didn't actually uh, come to an agreement with really anyone else. He said um, he also admitted that he had paid the papers before. Um, and, and that's the extent of my outward proof, but I, I would like to be heard in argument a little in terms of who wants to go first or if I should go first. Okay. Um, our, so our capped agreement is essentially 180 days in the House of Corrections suspended uh, for two years of points of good behavior and $500 fine because the penalty assessment to pay. The floor on um, the agreement is, is one day in the House of Corrections. Essentially, we're, we've agreed that class A penalties um, should be imposed here. You said 180 suspended? For two years, yes. And a um, $500 fine because the penalty assessment to pay. And um, the extent of this criminal record is that I can, as far as I can um, tell, is the conviction in New York for DUI in 1999. Doesn't appear to have anything else on his record. Um, he's a Vermont resident. He specifically targeted, excuse me, Joshua County um, for prostitution. There are a number of dangers that surround this type of conduct, um, including the fact that it has the potential to solicit minors for this particular uh, conduct, prostitution. And um, it's important, that it, I'm sorry, in keeping consistent with the three considerations of sentencing, deterrence, punishment, and rehabilitation, I think it's important to uh, impose the maximum penalties that I recommended um, to not only deter his particular conduct um, from being offending, but also to deter others who might um, want to engage in this sort of conduct. I think um, the only case I can offer for comparison in terms of sentencing, it's um, the only other prostitution case I'm aware of that this court heard was a case uh, involving Tiana Collins. She pled guilty to prostitution in January 2013. She received a sentence of 360 days suspended for two years of public behavior and fined $500 plus penalty seven. Was that negotiated? It was. Um, that was Attorney Blackwood's case. Um, I think this case is slightly distinguishable from that one in the sense that she was advertising uh, herself for prostitution. She performed uh, sexual acts for money. This was an undercover cover investigation, which was detected in email, actually, on a kind of business card that she had um, placed in a, in a local establishment. So he, um, again, engaged her um, in some conversation. They agreed to meet, and the understanding was that he, was, he would pay her for uh, fellatio. I think, um, like I said, I think it's important to establish significant amount of penalties to deter and to punish. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, I, I also uh, saw some, uh, some comparable sentences. The only one that I was able to look at, or I, I contacted some of uh, my, my colleagues about Manchester and the Seacoast. In, in those jurisdictions, the more common sen uh, sentence would be something in the neighborhood of a $500 fine or a suspended uh, 30 day jail sentence. That is uh, her, uh, I'll probably like to say Manchester and it's Stroud. Yeah, but did they have similar facts? I mean, they should, should, you know, more. No, you're right. I, I, I suggested, I, I simply saw their input on soliciting prostitution cases. Um, I think that the facts that Ms. Killen described, that I think we have to be mindful of the fact that the only person that he had any uh, affirmative communication with uh, that resulted in anything was Jim Roth. Um, this is. Uh, something that uh, warrants uh, a reasonable uh, sentence. Again, be mindful of the, the purposes of sentencing. Uh, I would argue for, uh, for 30 days suspended for one year for the behavior crime, along with the $250 fine that they, uh, Mr. Muscat is prepared to take care of today. Uh, Mr. Muscat, as uh, Ms. Kellen has noted, is, uh, his record is scant. It's just the DWI uh, in 1999, so 15 years ago. Uh, he has been employed for eight years uh, with New Chapter, uh, which is a, a vitamin business over at Broward. Uh, the, uh, the, the, lim the limited record, uh, the uh, <coughs> slight nature of the conduct, uh, 